Hey guys, so it's time for our date night. Um, I did not record before we left the house because we're running super late um, and there's a lot of traffic on the road. So with that being said, while we take this long ass hour long drive, um, I don't know, Bib said she has some questions to make it yeah. like, I don't know. Make the drive fun. <laughs> okay, yeah. just couples questions. I'm gonna ask her some questions and I'm gonna answer too. Okay. If I have an answer. <laughs> I'm hoping my camera doesn't fall. So I'm too. like, oh, I'm like, turn on your camera. Yeah. I don't know if it's in a, if it's not, you know, you can cut whatever it's not. You don't want to leave. But anyway, you ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what are some things you miss about being single? Nothing. Nothing? No. Okay. Nothing for me too. Not a thing. Not I don't miss nothing. What is single? Maybe only like, I've, I've like, never been no. single, really. Oh, me either. Well, yeah, <laughs> You've never but been single. Well, maybe really. on your young, younger years. Younger years okay. <laughs> no, I was going to say, I was going to make a joke with the like the Instagram reels. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, well, I would save money. <laughs> like, you know when they step out the door? Oh, the yeah. Uh -huh. And then they'd be saying, oh, they would save all this money on food. Like, if they don't go out yeah, their way. Sure. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> we should do that TikTok, too. I wanted to do it with you. We will be spending money when we step out though that's the thing <laughs> we do we do but but what well you've been buying food lately but usually i'm the one that's like buying the food so you would would you say that i spend more money uh-huh when we step on out? us no like the videos the little couples thing when they step out to see how much money this person how much money this person is spending i would be the one i like me spending the money on you well yeah yeah <laughs> yeah uh, I guess it's not even about these questions are not even about us. Oh, okay, there you go. I found some. When did you most? When did you feel most loved by me? That's most a good loved? one. Yeah. I mean, there was there's like a lot of different times. Like most love. There's like a lot of times where it's like, oh, she loves me. Oh yeah. Tell like, obviously you love me, but you know when you're like, oh, like that was yeah, like no, extra cute. I don't know, I can't think of nothing off the top of my head. I feel like I just said that recently for something. I'm like, oh, you do love me. Like, you know, I'm stupid, but... What did you do? <laughs> when did you feel most loved by me? I don't know. Oh, most loved. Not like the last time. Okay, yeah, most, most loved. loved. Dang. Yeah, when I did I feel know. most loved? I don't, I don't know. I always feel loved by you. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. If it was, if the question was, when did you last feel loved by your partner, type of thing? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, if it was, if it was the last time last you felt feel love, yeah, you feel love. I always feel loved by you. <laughs> I don't know. Like you feel like, oh, oh. I swear, there's something that you did recently when I when I was like, oh, like I don't know what it was. No, it had to be something. Mine was today. Today, even though you didn't give me no flowers, but I did. I did when you when you did the the video when we were watching it together. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I guess you love. Me. Not I guess. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I know they might take it the wrong way. <laughs> but yeah. Huh. Uh oh. What personality traits? I don't. You know, I'm, my accent is really strong, you guys. So right. here with me. Okay, what personality traits do you think I most admire about you? <laughs> about me? Yeah. What you admire about me? <laughs> personality traits <laughs> that I most admire most about you. Like I like I like I I take care of shit. I don't know. Like I handle shit. You do handle shit. I right? agree. <laughs> I agree. You handle shit. Like, I don't know. Yeah. That's true. You take care of things. Like she's like, I don't know. She's my handy, not handy, but basically, I don't know. I just I can count on you to yeah, just I do get things done, fix things, or yeah, yeah. It's like that Instagram reel when they go on vacation and you don't have to use no brain cells. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, she take it. Yeah, you. She takes care of <laughs> shit. Okay, I don't do nothing. Yeah. Like the picnic, Bib found the picnic idea that we're going to, but yeah. I had to set everything. If I didn't set everything up, it, she would have never looked yeah. back again. Yeah, you're right. Never. 
She didn't even like, oh, babe, are you gonna set it up? None of that. <laughs> None of that. She didn't even ask. <laughs> yeah, it's just I'm like, she, it's I don't know. Yeah. It's not your job, but it's like I feel like you take care of these. I shouldn't turn on the microphone. Oh. And it's just gonna work instantly. Let me see. I don't know if I have to. See? Yeah. Oh, nice. Connected, and you see, and then you're gonna see the the green thing at the top. Oh, so we have to have it by. Uh, no, not really. I can just hold it down here. Okay. But the little green line at the top is like every time we talk, that's like it hears us. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. So go. Yeah, go ahead. What's your favorite thing about married life so far? Married life. Married life so far. Yeah. Your favorite thing. <laughs> the funny thing is, we talk about this all the time. Like married life is like it's still the same as like our regular, non-married life. Oh yeah, we did talk about married that life. Before. So I guess my favorite thing is like being able to be like my wife. Like, yeah, I love that too. Yeah, I love that too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's my wife. Okay, that's mine. That's cool. <laughs> okay, name three things that make you proud of me. Proud of you? Yeah. Shit. Three, three things. Only three? Only three? Dang, we got a lot. <laughs> huh? Okay. No, um, like proudest, like proudest, like. That make you proud of me. Dang. How do you Let even see. how do you put that in the words? Like basically like, you know, you're a hard worker, like I'd be proud of you, like you know the shit you accomplished. Like you just I don't know. How do you say two that? things that make you proud of I don't me. know. I'm proud of like how do you say that? Like I don't wanna say I'm proud of how hard you work. Like you get shit done, you know, like Me? Yeah. I do? Yeah. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like you, you, you're consistent. Like you stick to shit. Yeah, I do. I do get things done. It's just different in different ways. In different ways. Yeah. yeah. Like, like you're definitely a harder worker. Like you, you get things done. I wouldn't say that, but okay, I'll take. Like it. you're more consistent. Yeah. Me, I'm like I quit everything. <laughs> like I don't know. That's not. It's not you're, true. But you're I, more consistent. But you giving me a compliment. I'm gonna just take it. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, I'm proud of the things that you do for your family. Um, you know, bringing them here and everything else that you do. Um, uh, I think that's yeah. You said three things. Did you say three? No, I said two. <laughs> I just I don't know if they make sense. Like how I'm saying it, or if they even make sense to be proud of somebody for that. Like it's just so weird. I guess my three. Babe, babe don't got no time for me. She's like, fuck you. <laughs> I don't know if I have three. But I am proud of, you know, when you did your real estate class, you passed the test. Yeah? Yeah, I'm proud of you for that. I feel like, I do feel like you can do anything. Like, you can go to school and get it done. Even though they're hard. Like, I feel like you don't feel that way, but I feel that way about you. Like, you can get, that's why I'm like, you can do that. You can go to school for that. You can do that. Like, you know, I don't know. I feel like you can do anything. Um, what's another thing I'm proud of you for? I'm proud of you. Three things I'm proud of you for. I guess, not even proud. I guess like that you take care of things. I don't yeah. know. Is, is that, a, is, that a, is that, is that good? I don't, I don't even know if they make sense too. Like, I don't do know. They do make things. It's like you. They make sense. Do everything. Yeah. Yeah. Like you just take care. Of, I don't have, to, I don't do nothing. Like <laughs> we're going on vacation. Even if it's me that booked the vacation. <laughs> She's gonna be the one looking up things. Yeah. Where we gonna go? Where we gonna driving be? and me, I'm in the car, my oh, feet yeah. up on my phone, like not doing nothing. Like where we going? Sometimes I get yeah. out the car, I'm I don't know where I'm heading. I just start walking. I don't know where I'm going. Like she's like, I do like to be in charge. Like she takes charge. I don't even want to get a driver. Like I'll drive in any country we go to because yeah, like I, like I got this. That's me for sure. I mean, I don't know if that's something I should... Is that one of the things <laughs> so That's how I feel. Like, I don't know. I mean, I guess. Another thing I guess I'm just things we like, each other, like about each other? I don't know. Yeah, it's giving three things I like about you. Yeah. That's what it's giving. <laughs> yep. Um, that's what it's giving. Okay, if you could design a dream job for me, what would it be? A dream job? Mm -hmm. You do that shit anyway. <laughs> Social media. Yeah? I mean, being an actress. Oh, an actress? Oh, yeah, yeah, but you don't gotta be an actress. Like, you're gonna be kissing people and all that <laughs> shit. No, thank you. Thank you. Next. Thank you. Next. Okay, what do you define as a successful relationship? What do you define as a successful relationship? Successful? Like, 
a successful relationship? To me, yeah, you go. <laughs> what do I describe as a successful relationship? Um, being able to talk to one another and understanding each other. So to me, that if you can do that, I feel like. What is a successful relationship? I don't know. That shit is just working. Like, it just works. They <laughs> say you are for me. What legacy do you want to leave? Mm. Ooh, leg- what legacy do you want to leave? That, I don't know. I don't, I don't, What's I don't. legacy? I don't fully know my purpose on this earth yet. Like, what do you want people to remember oh, you? to remember you back. Yeah, okay. like, I don't You're really gone. know my, yeah, I don't know my purpose on this earth yet, to be honest. You know what I want to be remembered by? Mm-hmm. Not even, you know, legacy, usually people say what you leave behind, mm-hmm. right? That's what I think of when I hear legacy, but I think it's better to say, what do you, like, like the way you describe it, like, you want to, you want people to remember you by. Yeah. I think being, being a good person. Yeah. That, like, that's a good one. Being a, you made a difference in somebody's life. That's a good thing, right? Mm-hmm. For sure. Also, like, I'm kind of hungry and kind of want to get a Red Bull, too. So, like, my energy is not, like, up there. <laughs> She's I'm ready to get there, like, and I'm hungry. I can't believe we're still 53 minutes away. 53 minutes, guys. 53 minutes. Unbelievable. Mm. <laughs> what kind of world do you want for our kids? If we have kids... Uh-huh. What I just, I I just, my number one thing if we have kids is I don't want them to be like traumatized in their childhood. Like I just want them to have a good childhood. Yes. Childhood. That's all I ask for. Like I don't want anything bad to happen to them. Like I I have no trauma. But honestly, you have you you have no trauma, right? I have no trauma. I had the best childhood yeah. ever. Like me, I I don't have no trauma. I feel like before I used to make it into a problem. Maybe I think because I I move on from it. Like yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't horrible at all. It wasn't bad at all. But it just wasn't. I was sad about it. How you know, where was my mom? Where was you know this and that? How no, yeah. I, I felt like nobody was taking up for me. I was mm-hmm. bullied. But honestly, I'm I, I'm I forgive this. I don't know. I I'm over it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, to me, I don't have no trauma. But I, yeah, I agree with that. I don't want our kids to have any trauma. Yeah. I want them to have a good childhood. <laughs> when you look ahead, what makes you the most anxious? I guess when they say look oh, ahead, like think into about the future. future. Yeah, what makes you the most nervous? Nowadays, everything gives me anxiety. No, nah, but um, when I look into the future, <sighs> oh, okay. I think. Because I don't really look into the future that much. Like, I do, but not to anything that would give me anxiety. But I think that what does is that I want to... Okay, the career that we have is trucking. We're truck drivers. We make really good money. But in order to make that really good money, we have to sacrifice not being home every day. Because if we get a local job where we are home every day, we're not going to make as much as we do. It's just, that's how it is. So when I think about the future of like, you know, we're not going to be, I hate to say we're not going to be at this job forever, but you know what I mean? Like, (laughs) I don't want to be gone five days a week forever. Like, that's just, so when I think about what else can I do, I have to think about a career change or I have to think about, you know, it does give me anxiety because it's like, or it makes me anxious because it's like, what can I do that's going to give me that much money? Like, am I capable or... Like, it's so funny. I'm, it's, this is the first time I'm hearing this. I know you talk about what can you want to do. What else can you do at yeah. home? But you never... I, I didn't know it was making you anxious. Basically, like, you're looking... I don't know. Like, in a way, it's Yeah, I told you. I've been thinking about this shit every day. Like, that's why I constantly do research. Like, Yeah, I know you like, do. Like, you want to find something else to do. But I didn't know it was basically yeah. affecting you. Yeah. Not a lot, but I would say I definitely like. Yeah. Like I think I, about no, it. No, I feel you heavy. a lot on that. I, I think do. about it heavy. I guess I do want us, like you said, with our career. I do want us to 
basically have more more money. Mm-hmm. Like I want us to have. I guess I think about if something happened to me. I think we talked about we talked about that. If something mm-hmm. happened to me, I would have to leave you with everything. Like you would be responsible for. Oh yeah, I'd be the life that, that we too. have now. Yeah, you know we do have a great life. Yeah, and there is having a great life comes with a lot of yeah responsibilities. Type yeah. Thing. So if yeah. anything happens to me, she would have to be dealing with the responsibilities that we have. Yes. So I do think about that, and I. That's why I want to work hard. I want to work harder in a way, like okay. to make more money, so that way, if anything happens like, to we'll me, like we'll be okay. Like, we'll be okay. okay. The other one would be okay. Yeah. Yeah, I do think think about that too. Speaking yeah. of that, I, like I literally had a freaking anxiety attack in the truck because I woke up and like thought I was dying. I thought I was having a stroke, and then I started thinking about like, oh god, now nah, she's gonna be alone, and it was a lot. I had a whole ass fucking panic attack i guess i don't know it was but bad. yeah thinking yeah. about that it's like whew, yeah that's a real that's a real like <sighs> but don't get us wrong the life that we live we live it because we love it like i'm bougie and i don't give no damn i'm, bougie, I'm buying I'm designer bougie. i don't give a fuck if they're making money off of me <laughs> or whatever it is I'm not buying the fake shit. I'm not doing it. If I'm going to buy something fake, it's not going to look like a Louis Vuitton. It's going to look like its own fake shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I like the life that I live. I want to live in... Too. I want to live in a nice house. I want to have a nice car. I want to have designer. I want all these things. You know what I mean? That's what I want. Some people want a nice boat. Some people want, yeah. you know, 10 cars. Everybody has their own thing that they want, that they care about, that they're going to spend their money on. Yeah. And yeah, so I I would not change. With that being said, we always trying to make more. Yeah. So we can continue living the life comfortably. That, yeah. yeah. For sure. Cause and we only want to go up and up and up. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like we're not we're not gonna like basically do too much. Like we have conversations all the time. Like hey, let's let's set a limit. Let's like we yeah we do that. Yeah, we do, we do that. that. We don't. <laughs> we're comfortable with each other. No, yeah. it's like. Okay, it's our anniversary coming up. Let's yeah. set a budget so Let's you don't, don't do too much. You we celebrate. like to spoil each other. We so like that's why we other, we so. be like, okay, let's set a budget because I don't want you to spending well, too much on me. <laughs> if we, if, <laughs> yo, dead ass, if we didn't set this budget, we did we, set a budget. We set a budget. We, we set a budget, but if you can go over it a little bit, but don't do too much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, because we will go crazy, and also with crazy. other people too. We have to like with the kids. Especially like we'll go crazy, so we have to be like, all right, we, that's enough. We're trying to do better. We're trying to do better. Yeah. Because you know we do have, you know, responsibilities. We have responsibilities, but we yeah. do love to spoil other people as well. We do. We do. It's our favorite thing to do. We love. Yeah. We love. We like to spoil each other. But we, we like to, you know, do for other people. We as like well. to do for other people. We enjoy it. So this is gonna be the last one, you guys. Okay. What? In your opinion, is the biggest challenge you've faced in our marriage so far, and how did you overcome it? Biggest challenge? Mm -hmm. I can answer. Okay, answer because I don't have one. Okay. What? What is it? What? In your opinion, what is the biggest challenge you face? Do I need the speaker? You need the the microphone. I need the microphone. (laughs) The biggest challenge. uh, It's too close. Getting orange and red. Yeah. The biggest challenge. I would say is none. <laughs> I don't have none. I feel like we did all that throughout the, our relationship. Yeah. No, for real. It's like our marriage is like literally us trying to, we just spoiling each other and then just living our best life. I was waiting to see what you were going to say because I, I got nothing. nothing. We don't want to do nothing. I feel like if we didn't take our time to literally get to know each other, yeah. we would be going crazy crazy in our marriage if we do go through something not even go through if we do come across like a bump in the road like that shit fixed and what and bump? bump her with her attitude that would be the bump but it don't I'm feel saying like if a bump. we do like if if i don't know i can't even think of nothing but yeah, we're I, just I got nothing. we just i don't know and a lot of times that couples argue it's not that serious and you know it's not that serious but for some reason it gets really big and you just you can't help but it's like bigger and bigger and nobody's backing down like it just letting it go is okay sometimes it just depends how you let it go yeah 
it right. depends on what it is if it's not serious it's not affecting you you know if yeah. it's like oh i feel like you did this this and that and then now it becomes an argument and you want to just let it go no you can't let that go because yeah. it's affect if it's affecting me we have to talk about it and get yeah. to the bottom of it For certain sure. things if we're talking about this car oh i said that car was white you said it was red and we're arguing about it you have to let that go because it really has nothing to do with us personally yeah yeah but we well, that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, we really, like, we have the easiest marriage. Like, I've been hearing people say, marriage is hard, Yo, marriage I, is hard. I don't get it. I'm like, I, it is because we took our time, baby. We took our time. It took five years before I proposed and she proposed to me, you I know? Just, like, we took our time. Um, yeah. When I say it took our time, we got to know yeah. each other. We made sure that we weren't going through whatever we were going through before. Uh-huh. Like. It doesn't mean we don't do little arguments. It's just not like big things about us where, yeah. you know, it's just the little Because marriage stuff. to me feels really easy, but the shit that I be seeing <laughs> yeah. is crazy. It's I wish crazy. I could just tell people, take your time. There's yeah. no rush. If you want to be with each other, like, yeah, just learn each other, you know? But, well, I had to break. It's okay. Hold on, baby. Hold on, hold on. Is it good? All right, guys. So that's it. Um, the camera fell. Now it's like low. We look weird. So <laughs> yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Yeah. That Bye. was nice. Peace. <laughs>